So we go to the heart of a very contentious issue still yes. in psychiatry, which yes. is how to diagnose whether someone has a delusion or not. Yes. Just because you have a belief that's a bit strange or false even, may or may not mean it's delusional. Yeah. What a lot of people are focused on is the content of the belief. I believe I'm a member of this organisation, yes. no one can find that it exists. Yeah. I think one of the things that's really important is why people believe what they believe. And I think often psychiatrists or, or the police neglect to ask that question. And I yes. thought that was neglected a bit in the court. Not what he believes, yes. but why does he believe it? The journey to belief, the journey to sure. conclusion is key. Because that's usually where the disordered thoughts come out most, I think. Yes. What do, what do you I, think? I agree entirely with you. I think you're absolutely spot on, actually. And I, I think that's another, in terms of the journey to the beliefs, I do not think that there's a clear link between it, from his past to the present, in the sense that you can that he may or may not have a, a nar underlying narcissistic personality. I personally believe that, that, that that's a mistaken diagnosis, and that they're mistaking um, gra the grandiose type of delusional disorder. He has he has they have two types of delusional disorder, or different subcomponents. Uh, that you can make a diagram. He has a grandiose type and a persecutory type. So he believes that there is a, a system of persecution going on, which is, is basically far-right beliefs of sort of um, infiltration increasingly of, of foreign elements and culturally different elements subverting and undermining Norway and Norwegian culture. Um, the other is a grandiose, that he is uh, a, an important member of a far-right organisation which is non-existent, he's a, a knight, a hero, he should be released or executed um, like a, a hero of the past, um, and I believe that is grandiose. So, but in terms of getting there, going back to what you said, no, there isn't a clear link, even in childhood he had a Muslim friend. Um, so where, where, does, where is the, all we know is that he sort of seemed to withdraw somewhat uh, increasingly from society into himself, into games, um, but the actual link, I think, in terms of normality and development is non-existent, I think is in his diseased mind, effectively.